Hi and welcome to AutoCAD Map 3D 2008 training. I'm Gary Morin and in this session I'm going to be showing you some more of the data connection facility features. In our last session we saw how by using the data connect menu we could bring in data from various geospatial databases and GIS data formats into the current AutoCAD Map session to view and look at and use. I now want to show you how you can actually edit and update information. Let me go to my triple SI site information and let's zoom in onto a, a site for us to work on. There we go. Let's imagine we want to edit this area here. If I was just to select this data, uh, this data is being pulled through from uh, Esri shape format. So if I want to edit this data, I need to select it and then right click on the object and we can go down and check out the feature. This just basically means that no one else can now edit this information. Then I can just use the grabs and pull it to the shape I wish it to be. Of course I could use snaps. Then all I have to do then is right click again and this time you can see the menu, the uh, options have altered and now I can check in the feature and that's it done. I've now updated the remote shape information likewise it could be Oracle data, SQL Server as we said before any form of data we can pull in. If we actually right click on the layer you'll see uh, quite a big range of commands we have down here we have zoom to extents, make layer selectable uh, we can actually fine-tune the information we look at. So if, if I come down to this one here, filter data objects, with this tool I can actually reduce the information I have coming in. The best way of showing this is on our woodland areas. Let me zoom to the extents of our woodland areas. Helps if I turn them on. Now if we zoom in, you see that we actually have, and you can see by the legend as well, two types of woodland areas. We have, let's just make this slightly larger so you can see it, ancient and semi-natural woodland and ancient replanted woodland. We can actually use the filters just to narrow down so we can only see one, one type of data. So right click, query filter data, and in comes my feature source query engine and I'll say I want to add a new criteria I could make it location based where we could tell it to any data within a polygon or within a circle etc but in this case I'm going to make it property condition I want to tell it to use my type attribute and tell it only to bring in data that is equal to I could use in and various different options down here but by selecting by pressing select here, it looks through the attribute data for me, gives me my various options. So if all I'm interested in is my replanted woodland, I just select that option, hit OK, OK. And now, once this data is updated, it's updating it now, it's only going to be showing me the replanted woodlands. So one final thing I want to show you on data connections before we move on to another subject is actually how you can transfer data from one data connection from one format to another. So for instance, I may wish my shape data to appear in with my ancient woodland database. I, I have a, a, micro, a Microsoft SQL Server and I wish to put all of my shape data into my SQL Server so as SQL Server gets backed up all of my uh, SSIs etc get back up, back, backed up as well. It's relatively easy for us to do. I just go to data, bulk copy and tell it I want to use my SSI data and I want to transfer it over to SQL Server. There's some criteria towards the bottom of the page. Uh, I won't worry about coordinate systems and I'm not too bothered about uh, errors being shown for now. We'll just say copy now. 
and uh, that's it done. 263 co objects were copied. So if I now just close that down, go to my data connections again, and this time in SQL Server, we should see in this list, in fact, there we are at the very top of it, my SSIs. So I just now say add to map. There we are, our new SSI information. Let's just zoom to the extent of that so we can see it. So we've used the data connections to transfer my shape data through, in, in this case, into a SQL Server. But you can use it to convert really from any, any format to any format that has read-write capability. That's the end of this session. If you've got any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to post them. Thank you very much.